me again, Jen. I thought today I would show you how I spin cotton punis on supported spindles. I have four different types of supported spindles here with me today. This is a bead type spindle. It is from Grizzly Mountain Arts. It's wood burned like an acorn, super cute. This is a Pong spindle. It's a goddess spindle from Bristlecone Artisan Heirlooms. This is a wand style spindle. This one is from Woodland Woodworking and it has autumn leaves on it, I love. And then this is a Takli spindle. This one was developed specifically for spinning cotton in India and this one I got from Hip Strings. So, when I spin supported, when I spin cotton supported, I prefer to use either Corion spinning surface. This one is from Main Fiber Tools. It's one of their spinning pucks. Um, or glass surfaces. This is an enamel bowl from Dev's Fibers. Um, I also have a couple of glass bowl inserts that my mother made. Um, she works with glass. But I find when spinning cotton, I want to be able to achieve decent speeds. And for me personally, the smoothness of Corian and glass let me do that. So, I have with me cotton punis from the garden, my favorite. And first I'm going to show you how I spin on the Takli. I'm going to put the other spindles aside. I'm going to use the puck for this. And the Takli, this one has a carbon fiber shaft, which is super neat, but it's also super pointy. So it comes with these little end caps. That's what I'm removing. And to get started, I take the cotton puni and I just kind of loop the fiber around the shaft a little bit. See if it'll do it. Sometimes it's a little more difficult than others. And give it a spin. <laughs> Starting later is the hardest part of spinning for me, just as a aside. So once I have a little bit of yarn, I will wrap it, or a little bit of a single, I will wrap it around, give the tockley a spin. The tockley can spin much longer than I'm letting it right now because I'm trying to get a leader established. And once I have a leader established, I then slide the little bit that I started down the shaft and start winding to make it a little more secure. Now, cotton, being such a short staple fiber, needs its high twist to be spun. Okay. So. I have enough of a, enough cotton spun that I feel that it's now securely attached to the spindle. I'm just winding it around the shaft. And so then to spin cotton, Give the spindle a flick, kind of draft out a little bit, and then I pinch and continue to pull without adding more fiber to draft out the sloughs. And then you end up with a pretty uniform strand of cotton. Um, I will show you that again. Now, I am not one of the people who can spin and wind on spindles in a smooth motion. I am very jealous of those, of those spinners that can. Um, someday maybe, but. So it does take me a little longer because I have to stop and wind off. I'm 
draft out some, some cotton from the food. Another flick as I pinch and pull to draft out the slops. This is a very similar motion to spinning on a charka. Chakras are very, very fast. And then, as you can see, I have a small top of cotton going. So, for the sake of keeping this video under an hour, I'm not going to finish this puni. I'm going to move on to the next spindle, making sure to replace the caps so I don't stab myself with this. Okay. The next spindle I'm going to show you is on a the wand spindle. I already have a little bit of brown cotton on this one, so you won't have to watch me struggle to start. Um, I think for this one I will use Deb's spool. So once you get to the end of your puni, say I pretend I finished a puni for this, and you have your new puni to get started, you just kind of lay the end of your single over the end of the puni, draft out just a little bit. Cotton has such affinity, such an affinity for itself that it, um, it will attach with ease. Again, let's give a flick, draft out some. If there's slots, it's fine. Then pinch, another flick, and pull to get rid of the slots. Now the wand spindle is a little slower than the tockley, just by nature. Um, although this one is still really fast. So you do have to adjust your drafting speed to the spindle you're working with. But once you get used to doing that, it's, um, it's fairly easy to do. Push. Sometimes I give the yarn a little bit, or the single a tug to make sure that it won't draft apart. Um, something else about spinning cotton, if you add too much twist, you can actually break the fibers and it'll be a clean break like you won't see any it's not you won't see any of the fibers hanging out the end it'll look like someone just cut the single um, if you don't add enough twist the fibers will not stay together okay again not going to finish that we're going to move on to the bead style spindle Again, I'm sorry, this is one that I will have to start. Just kind of slide like that. Also, I find the slower spindles, um, I can get thicker singles on. So this may be a fairly thick single. Part of the reason I am showing you so many different types of spindles is that I've come across the misconception that you can only spin cotton on Takli's or um, yeah, you can only spin cotton on Takli's and that's simply, simply not true. Um, while I did learn to spin cotton on Takli's and Takli's are particularly well suited for the fiber, I, it is possible to spin cotton on any supported spindle, or any of the supported spindles I've tried, it is possible to spin cotton on. Um, you just have to adjust, adjust your drafting speed. Um, again, this one's a bit slower, but I'm also spinning a thicker single, so it needs less twist to hold together. basically the same process for all the spindles. Um, and last, I'm going to show you the pong spindle. 
Again, this is one I will have to get started. I just slide, kind of pierce the tip of the puni with the spindle, give it a twirl. This again, the pong is a little bit slower of a spindle, um, so I do not reach for them to spin cotton very often, if I'm being honest. But I prefer, I actually prefer my wand style spindles to my Takli's. Um, that's just a, a personal preference. It's kind of the same. You draft out and then you pinch and pull while adding twist to even out the slugs. And that works no matter what um, diameter of single you're spinning. Um, it's not just the super thin ones that that works for. Sometimes your punies will just draft out without slugs, and then that's like magic. Please excuse the military helicopter flying outside. Happens. Um, okay, two military helicopters. Yes, so that is a short little introduction to how I spin cotton on my supported spindles. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or um, in the description there will be a link to the blog post that goes along with this video um, and you can leave comments there or you can find me on Instagram, um, that's my social media addiction of choice at experiment number one. That's EXP number spelled out N-U-M-B-E-R one. Um, and if I have links to the makers of these spindles and these bowls, I will add them to the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next video.